contest your knowledge of trivia. Along with Newfoundland's best high school students, it's time for Trivia Plus. And now, let's meet tonight's contestants from Elwood Regional High, Spencer Crew and Heather McDonald. And from Regina High, Kathy Matthews and Paul Merrigan. And now, please welcome the host of Trivia Plus, Susan Bonnell. Thanks, Phil. Welcome to Trivia Plus, the game show that tests the knowledge of high school students province-wide. Each of these two teams from our western region is competing for the right to represent their school in our Trivia Plus finals, which will be held later in St. John's. Each member of the championship team will receive a $1,000 scholarship, compliments of Cable Atlantic. Get started. Our 10 trivia categories are hidden behind the letters on the Trivia Plus board. Each category consists of eight questions worth 10 points each. But watch out, players, you will lose 10 points for an incorrect answer. However, we don't let you go below zero. Also hidden behind two letters are bonus rounds called trigger categories. We explain these as we find them. We end each game with a 90 second speed round. Players may buzz in at any time during a question, but remember players, if you're incorrect, the other team will have the opportunity to hear the whole question. Teams select letters alternately. Regina won the toss before the game, so where would you like to begin? R. The R is one of our two trigger rounds. Um, this is in our music category, uh, Regina. You may play or pass to mm. Elwood musicians. We'll take it. All right. With which type of music is each of the following names most closely associated? John Philip Sousa. Mm. Paul? Classical. Uh, more specific, please. Uh, marching. Yes, that's correct. The Bee Gees. Paul? Disco. Correct. Waylon Jennings. Paul? Country. Correct. Rogers and Hammerstein. Paul? Vocal. No, that's incorrect. We're looking for Broadway musicals there. Okay, Elwood, we have instruments for you. What instrument is each of the following musicians most closely associated with? Richard Claderman. Heather? Piano. Correct. Benny Goodman. Spencer? Guitar. That's incorrect. It is the clarinet we're looking for there. Les Paul. Spencer? Electric guitar. Correct. Kenny G. Heather? Saxophone. Correct. Please pick a letter for us, Selwood. Uh, the P, please. The P. Here's our sports category. This is famous bowl games. Famous bowl game. The answer to each of the following questions is also the name of a football bowl game. A kind of Hawaiian dance. Or a hoop toy, Paul? Hula. Popularized in the 60s, correct. The word that ends the song line, way down yonder in the land of... Paul? Cotton. That's correct. A flower that by any other name would... Spencer? Rose. Smell is sweet, correct. A Halloween color. Heather? Orange. Correct. The bowl game whose name is the same as the name of the famous bell in Philadelphia. Paul? Liberty. Correct. A brand of margarine or a piece of a baby's apparel. That's the, sorry, I don't think she's in in time. That's the blue bonnet. A swamp animal or an aid to thirsty athletes. Paul? Gator. Correct. And a simple carbohydrate that's made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Spencer? Sugar. Right. Please pick a letter for us, Regina. Um, the S, please. The S is our science category. These are questions on the human, human extremes, human extremes. What's the hardest substance in the human body, Spencer? Enamel. That's correct. What part of the body receives the most blood from the heart? Spencer? The brain. That's correct. Name the largest gland in the body. Spencer? Pancreas. That's incorrect. Regina? That's the liver. The skin is the human's largest organ. Where is skin the thinnest? On the palms, on the eyelids, or by Heather? Eyelids. Correct, or by the lips, you're correct. What's the longest bone in the body? Spencer? Femur. That's correct. The largest artery in the human body is the aorta. 
to which of the four chambers of the heart does it connect? It connects to the left ventricle. By what name are the smallest of the veins known? Paul? Capillaries. That's correct. What's the distinction of the middle air located behind the eardrum, which makes it appropriate for this category? Spencer? Looks like a snail. No, that's incorrect. Regina? It has the smallest bones in the human body. Please pick a letter for us, Elwood. T. The T. T is our other trigger category. Uh, this is just from our general questions, and you may play or pass to Regina night things. Night things. Play it. Okay. Nyctalopia, or a disorder that would lead to a restriction on one's driver's license. Spencer? Night vision. Will we accept that? Yes, we will. A short, thick baton used by policemen. Spencer? Night stick. That's correct. A TV show starring Carol O'Connor. The movie version starring Rod Steiger. That's in the heat of the night. And a Rod Stewart song that says, Cause I love you, girl, ain't nobody gonna stop us now. That's tonight's the night. Okay, Regina, we have sweet things for you. Sweet things. Name the birthday that's traditionally supposed to be special in a young girl's life. Kathy? 16. That's correct. What 1985 film biography of music legend Patsy Cline, which starred Jessica Lange, is also a term many parents have uttered to their children before bedtime? Paul? Sweet dreams. Correct. This phrase, a cliché, indicates that doing well is desirable because it actually gives off a pleasant odor. Paul? A sweet smell of success. That's correct. In The Christmas Carol, what are the angels we have heard on high doing? Kathy? Sweetly singing or the planes. Good for you. That's absolutely correct. We're at the end of the fourth round. We've got a very good and close game here. The score is 90 for Elwood, 110 for Regina. We'll be back with our verified score to meet our players and with our remaining six rounds after this break. partner in science. Anyways, I was wondering if you'd consider dancing with me. Yeah, I would. Really? You'd dance with me? No. I said I'd consider it. Then I'd say no. Hi, I don't know if you know me very well, but... No, thank you. I'm not much of a dancer, but... No. You know, I wouldn't blame you if you said... No. Would you like to no. dance with me? First, you don't succeed. You're pretty normal. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Water. We take it for granted. Turn on the tap, and it's there at our fingertips. But imagine a world without clean water. Help Ducks Unlimited conserve our planet's water. Call 1-800-665-DUCK. Welcome back to our exciting game between Elwood and Regina. And Elwood, of course, are from Deer Lake, and we have with us Spencer and Heather. Spencer, tell us about yourself, sir. Um, my name is Spencer Crew. I'm a level two student at Elwood Regional High School. Um, I like sea cadets, drums, guitar, and cycling, I suppose. You're into cycling as well? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that must be interesting, just to road cycling yourself or competing? Anywhere. Whatever. Have you thought about what you'd like to do when you leave uh, high school? Not yet. Not yet. Lots of time to make that decision. Hi, Heather. Hi. Tell us about yourself. I'm Heather McDonald. I go to Elwood. I'm at level two also. Uh, outside of school, I play piano and clarinet, and I'm involved with band and choir, anything, any musical programs. <laughs> Are you thinking about a musical career, yes, Heather? Yes, I'm going to study music. 
Great. Well, good luck to you with that. Thank and you. Uh, good luck to you both in the game. Thank you. And uh, from Regina here in Corner Brook, where we're doing our taping, we have Kathy and Paul. Hi, Kathy. Tell us about yourself. Hi. Um, I'm a level three st student mm -hmm. at Regina. I like to play sports in my spare time, especially golf, figure skating, and downhill skiing. Sports minded person. Are you thinking phys ed? No, actually, sports medicine. Oh, well, that's, that's even better. <laughs> I'm sure that makes your parents even happier. <laughs> Good for you. Good luck to you in that. Yes. Hi, Paul. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm a level three student at Regina as well, and I'm involved with student council, the yearbook, and I'm also involved with junior achievement. What are your company? What's your company doing this year? Uh, we're making wall decorations. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice, pretty things to put on the wall—a little yeah. shelf kind of job or something. Mm -hmm. Very good. You thought about what you'd like to do when you leave? I'm um, hoping to become a pediatrician. Wonderful! Great job, I'm sure. Good luck to you both Thank in you. the game. Let's get back to the game. Regina, please pick a letter. Um, the first I, please. The first I is our vocab questions. There's a pattern here, and I'm sure you'll catch on very quickly. <laughs> what five-letter I word is a figure of speech describing the difference between what is said and what is meant? Spencer? Irony. Correct. What six-letter P word is an inflammation of the skin? Spencer? Psoriasis. Incorrect. Regina? That's a pimple. What 12 letter K word is a class or school for small children? Paul? Kindergarten. Correct. What 10 letter M word describes something with one color? Spencer? Mono. Mono. Sorry, Spencer. Regina? Mono, mono, chrome, we're looking for <laughs> monochrome. What four-letter W word is the exertion of force to accomplish something? Kathy? Work. Correct. What seven-letter T word is a vacuumed bottle? Thermos. What ten-letter Q word is one of five children born in one pregnancy? Spencer? Quintuplet. Correct. What two-word 12-letter T phrase describes a point at which a decisive change takes place. Spencer? Turning point. That's correct. And uh, it's your pick of a letter, Elwood. Uh, the second I, please. The second I is our geography uh, category. And this is also a visual category for you today. There's visual clues for you. Um, what you're going to see are anagrams. And uh, the anagrams are place names. And I have a question to help you figure out the uh, place name that we're looking for. So let's have a look at the first one. And this is oration, is what you're seeing. Rearrange the letters to spell... Ontario? Uh, Ontario? One of the Great Lakes. You're absolutely right. Let's have a look at our next anagram. Rearrange the letters in goals to spell the name of the capital city of Africa's most populated country, Nigeria. Spencer? Lagos. That's correct. Rearrange laity, Heather? Italy. To spell this country, you're absolutely right. Rearrange the letters in animal to spell the name of an Asian capital, which received much attention. Kathy? Milan. It's incorrect, I'll complete for Elwood. Due to the atrocities of the Marcos era, Elwood? Spencer? Manila. That's correct. By rearranging, Paul? Rome. That's what you'll get. Right you are. <laughs> <laughs> Rearrange danger to spell a town, Paul? Granada. It's incorrect. I'll complete for Elwood. In central Newfoundland. <laughs> Spencer? Gander. That's correct. <laughs> Heather? Tokyo. That's incorrect. I'll complete for uh, Regina. The letters of the word Tokyo can be rearranged to form the name of another major Japanese city. Paul? Kyoto. That's correct. And our following last clue, this is male pure. The letters of these two words can be arranged, rearranged, Paul. Lima, Peru. The capital and the country of which it is capital. And you're right. And please pick a letter, Regina. Uh, the V, please. The V is our religion category. These are places of worship, places of worship. In which city is St. Peter's Basilica located? Kathy? Halifax. That's incorrect. Elwood? Heather? St. John's. 
That's also incorrect. It is the Vatican City that we're looking for. At which religious edifice, reputedly containing stones from Solomon's temple, do Jews traditionally bewail at the destruction of the temple by the Romans? That's the Wailing Wall. What's the name of a small church attached to another building or within a larger church, which is also the name of an association of workers in a printing house? That's a chapel. What ancient London abbey has been the coronation church of almost all English monarchs? Paul? West Abbey Minster. That's incorrect. I'll complete for Elwood. Monarch since William the First. Elwood? You're really close, Paul. It's Westminster Abbey. <laughs> Located 50 miles from the Red Sea, what is the chief holy city of Islam and the birthplace of Muhammad? That's Mecca we're looking for mm. there. Name the cathedral immortalized in fiction by its famed resident, the Hunchback. Paul? Notre Dame. That's correct. Siddhartha Gautama found peace and became a Buddha under what religious tree? It was the tree of enlightenment. And what is the head church of the Roman Catholic Church in Newfoundland, located in St. John's? Kathy? The Basilica. That is correct. Elwood, please pick a letter. L. The L. The L is a mystery category for you today. Uh, after the first question, the uh, category will be revealed. Which Canadian province is bordered by the Yukon and Northwest Territories? Heather? Alaska. I'll complete for Regina. Alberta, the Pacific Ocean, Montana, Idaho. Kathy? BC. Washington and Alaska, you're absolutely right. And all the questions in this category will be about British Columbia. The British explorer navigator who mapped the coastline of BC, Spencer? Vancouver. Vancouver. Has an island name for him, that's correct. Name the major river in BC that runs from Vancouver through Prince George, Spencer? Fraser. That's correct. What major university is located in Burnaby, BC? Kathy? Simon Fraser. That's correct. Name the 36-year-old motivational speaker who became a disability consultant at UBC after capturing the hearts of people around the world as the man in motion. Heather? Rick Hansen. That's correct. Name the native of Vancouver who received the Order of Canada and was featured on a 30-cent Canadian stamp. He died in Thunder Bay, Ontario while running Spencer? Terry Fox. The Marathon of Hope, you're right. Name the musical group from B.C. who took the name of their hometown as their band name. Paul? Chilliwack. That's correct. In what year did B.C. vote to join Confederation? They did that in 1871. Regina, please pick a letter. Uh, the U, please. The U. Is our television category. These are questions on TV shows. TV shows. And the following TV shows all have one thing in common, and that is they are all one-word title programs. All have one-word title. A common trend in TV programs today is to name the show after the star. What program, named for the star, features the characters George, Jerry, and Kramer? Spencer? Seinfeld. Correct. What sitcom stars Mayim Bialik as the title character? Spencer? Blossom. That's correct. Recently, this talk show host celebrated his 25th anniversary. Paul? Donahue. That's correct. What poorly dressed cigar smoking detective always has, Paul? Columbo. One more thing to ask, you're right. This program about a struggling country western singer starred a former designing woman. That's Delta. What classic Western TV program starred Lorne Green and Michael Landon, Paul? Bonanza. Among others, you're right. Much like the Twin Peaks $24,000 question, who killed Laura Palmer, who shot J.R.? Was the classic, Paul? Dallas. TV question of what program, you're right. What game show is responsible for Trivia Plus contestants, Spencer? Jeopardy. Phrasing their answers in the form of a question, and you're right. Elwood, <laughs> please uh, pick our last letter. We'll take hey. it. <laughs> we'll have the A. And we have the mathematics category. We saved your toughie for last. This is geometry today, players. Great. As usual, we give our players a pencil and paper and a little more extra time if they need it. 
How many of the following state three statements are true? How many of these statements are true? A circle is a polygon. A square is a rectangle. A straight angle measures 180 degrees. Paul? Three. That's incorrect. Elwood? Heather? Two. Just two of them are correct. What's the area in square centimeters of a triangle with sides of length three, four, and five centimeters respectively? The area in square centimeters of a triangle with sides three, four, and five centimeters respectively. Spencer? 30. That's incorrect. Regina? It is six square centimeters. How many squares with sides of length three centimeters could be fit into a rectangle that is 12 centimeters wide and 18 centimeters long. How many squares with sides of length three centimeters could be fit, Paul? 24. That's correct. What names given to a figure that may be accurately described as a squished, squ a squished square? Spencer. Rhombus. Oh, and I had to say Spencer then too. Squished <laughs> square, right. What name is given to a polygon with six sides? Spencer? Hexagon. That's right. What's the formula for calculating the volume of a cylinder? Kathy? Pi r squared times height. That's correct. The measure of the interior angles in a triangle are in a ratio two to three to seven. How many degrees does the largest angle measure? The ratio two, three, seven. How many degrees does the largest angle measure? Paul? 112. That's incorrect. Elwood? It is 105. How many radians are equivalent to 180 degrees? How many radians? are equivalent to 180 degrees. That is pi we're looking for there. We've reached the end of the 10th round. Really close and exciting game here. Elwood right now is 200, Regina's 220. We've got our speed round coming up after this break. At Participaction, we've been out talking to some very special Canadians, finding out how active living enriches their lives. You're never too young to start. I think activity is important for the children because it develops the habit to be active. You can build skills that will last you a lifetime. Today's fun leads to tomorrow's lifestyle. I want to be able to act sort of as a role model for my kids. Be like someone they can play with out in the park and go through the ball instead of just sitting around and watching football on TV. Active living is easy to fit into your day. I'm an independent type person. I like to not have to rely on a ride or a bus. I like the sense of freedom and independence that comes with walking. Activity gets you into the outdoors. I enjoy being out in the fresh air, especially by the water. There are opportunities out there for you. You just gotta find them. Taking the stairs builds activity into your life. After a while, it becomes a habit. I feel as good as I did uh, 20 years ago. Activity makes retirement years truly golden. You'd be amazed at uh, how much you can do. You don't feel nearly as old as maybe aware. Active living, something for everyone. Choose the activity that best suits you and enrich your life. Participation, moving your way every day. Welcome back to Trivia Plus in this exciting game between Elwood and Regina. We're preparing for our speed round as we do that. Uh, Phil, why don't you tell us what the players are competing for? All contestants on Trivia Plus will receive Cable 9's gift package consisting of a Trivia Plus t-shirt and Cable Atlantic coffee mug. Our provincial third and fourth place teams will be awarded school packages consisting of an attache case binder and pen set. 
each member of our runner-up team will receive a $500 scholarship and our championship team will win the Trivia Plus Trophy of Knowledge along with individual scholarships of $1,000. Compliments of Cable Atlantic. And now back to Susan and the Speed Round. Thanks, Phil. Our players are ready. We have 90 seconds on the clock. Let's begin. Name Time Magazine's 1992 Man of the Year, who's president of the U.S. Kathy? Clinton. Correct. In which country is Acapulco? Spencer? Mexico. Correct. With what type of food is the word albacore associated? Tuna. Name George Burns' female partner. Spencer? Gracie. Correct. What's the loss in a case of amnesia? Paul? Memory. Correct. What attraction located in Anaheim is said to be the California equivalent, Paul? MGM Studios. Incorrect. Uh, Elwood, California equivalent of Florida's Disney World. Heather? Disneyland. Correct. What's induced with a general anesthetic? Paul? Numbness. Incorrect. Elwood? Spencer? Sleep. Spencer? Sleep. Oh, no, that's incorrect. We're looking for unconsciousness. What was William F. Cody better known as? Paul? Billy the Kid. Incorrect. Elwood? Spencer? Buffalo Bill. That's correct. How many grams make up a decagram? Paul? Ten. Correct. Who's the friendly ghost? Spencer? Casper. Correct. What midday nap takes its name from the Spanish word sexta, meaning six? Spencer? Siesta. Correct. What bird was reborn from its own ashes, Paul? Phoenix. Correct. How many daily tides are there? Paul? Two. Correct. How many zeros are there in a trillion? That's 12. What's the hardest substance in the human body? Spencer. Enamel. Right. What, what Newfoundland city is home to the... And we're out of time before we even get to Lab City. The score is 260 for Elwood, 240 for Regina. Congratulations, Elwood. A real squeaker. We'll see you next week on Trivia Plus. Cable Atlantic Cable 9, your community channel.